What one little word can transform your narrative into an exciting story with conflict that has people sitting on the edge of their seats waiting to hear more? Well, you'll hear the answer to that question after this brief break. In my last video, I introduced you to a concept that was made popular by the creators of the animated series South Park, Matt Stone and Trey Parker. They call it the replacement method. As a refresher, what they'll do is when they write the first draft of a script for their show, they will review that and they will look for every place where the word and is connecting ideas. If you recall, the issue with that is that isn't really a story. It's a series of facts with little emotion. The idea of uh, Johnny did this and Kenny did this and Bobby did this and Sally did this. And there's, there's nothing exciting about that. It feels like a report. What I learned from them is one little word can change the direction of the narrative and begin to create a real story. And that word is but. Think about the example from a couple of videos ago where you heard about uh, the princess who met the handsome prince. They got married and lived happily ever after. This is what we call the triple A method. There was a princess and she met a prince and they got married and they live happily ever after. By adding one small element after that opening part and introducing it with the word but, you change the direction of the story and begin to create conflict and emotion. If you remember from the video, the last line that we added was, until the abduction. A word of caution here, the word but isn't always literally the word that you have to use. It can be represented by other words such as despite, yet, however, instead, conversely, rather, otherwise. A, the kind of word that will change the direction. An example from my life is when I talk about driving a real race car at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. In that narrative, I start by saying, I was in Indianapolis, I'm strapped into the driver's seat of a car, and this is a dream I've always had. I should be excited about this, but I'm scared to death. Until I get to that word, but, and I introduce the concept of being scared to death, there really is no compelling reason to hear this story. I've just introduced a new direction, and now people want to know, why would I be afraid of something that I've been dreaming about for 41 years? As you're reviewing your story, your script, look for those areas that are connecting ideas to set it up, but then ask yourself, where can I use the word but and take it into a new direction or some other version of but, like I mentioned before, some of those other words. Where can we change directions so that the audience now has a little bit of an emotional involvement and wants to see where you go next? Tune into the next video and you'll hear about the third word that you can use in your story to take it from a triple A series of ands to an and, a but, and then I'll tell you in the next video. Have fun working on that script. We'll talk to you in the next video. Thank you.